What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we have another fun one for you, another historical one for you. All the way from the year 2000, we bring you the G.I. Joe, John F. Kennedy, PT-109 Boat Commander figure. And this is from the the Echo uh, series. This was a highly, let's bring this guy down and bring him in. Um, this was a figure that I had been anticipating. A lot of G.I. Joe collectors had been anticipating for a long time. Um, ever since Hasbro announced uh, that they would be putting, putting this figure out, um, the G.I. Joe Collectors Club um, carried the information and kept all of uh, the G.I. Joe Collectors uh, members um, posted and updated on, you know, the production of this figure and everything that was transpiring with this figure. So it was a uh, highly anticipated, uh, well worth the wait. Um, it garnered and because who the figure represents, uh, JFK, uh, this figure garnered a lot of uh, international attention and news media attention. I remember uh, seeing it on CNN uh, back in 2000. They were talking about this figure. It, as you can see, it comes with a ton, a ton of equipment. Uh, it was a deluxe figure. Um, this figure retailed at uh, $29.99. And I bought uh, my John F. Kennedy G.I. Joe from, from, of all places, not Toys R Us, not Walmart, not Target, Ames. I found, while shopping in Ames, I found my JFK G.I. Joe figure. Uh, this box was extremely elaborate, beautifully made. As you can see, it has the 3D cutout versions to give you that layered look as if he's... This boat is is on actual water. So it's giving you these waves. Um, I thought that was just a beautiful, beautiful touch. Um, there's an actual photo from JFK Archives of John F. Kennedy in his PT boat, 109 boat. This figure had, uh, was made in honor of JFK to um, tell the story of the of the heroics heroics that JFK showed on this particular mission where he was um, hurt and practically stranded. Here's the actual, it says the, the replica of JK's rescue mess, message. He carved this out on a piece of coconut. And here's the actual message that was carved on the coconut. And how cool is that? Another cool thing about this set, um, they didn't kill me with the rubber bands. <laughs> this, everything was encased in plastic. His knife, his pistol, his hat, his shades. Um, there's a, a map behind him. Everything was encased. Dog tags. Everything was encased in, in plastic. And this was an, a beautiful, beautiful likeness of JFK. I thought they did a, a beautiful job with the head sculpt. And the uniform was beautiful. He's got his holster there. His belt. 
um, beautifully factory sealed. Boots on, his shoes on. Here's a side shot of our JFK. Here's a look with our JFK there with all his gear on. Let's turn this guy around. Get you a blown out look here. I'll have to I'll have to hold this. This gives you just a beautiful blown up picture of the, the front cover there of JFK. And this tells the story. You can um, pause your uh, your video if you want. If you want to read that, it tells the story of the uh, JFK and how he was able to um, save himself and others when his PT boat was uh, attacked. Beautifully done. Let's get you a year. 2000. Guys, what do you think of our G.I. Joe, John F. Kennedy, PT 109 boat commander figure? Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? Um, this is a figure, once again, that you can get. Um, he's not super rare. Um, he's highly sought after, though. Uh, I've seen this figure on uh, Coswell Collectibles go for about $59, $60. And I would say that that's a fair price uh, for this figure. Um, I've seen him go for more on eBay. Because of, but then again, guys, that's eBay. I've seen him go as high as eighty dollars, you know, eighty eight, eighty, ninety dollars on eBay. So it's you know, it's really picking where you want to buy this guy, purchase this guy at. Uh if you're an MIB collector like me, um this is practically a C ten museum example. Uh he was bought fresh out of the store off the toy aisle shelf. So I'm just picky like that, though. But if, if you don't have to have this figure um, in pristine condition, the box doesn't have to be in pristine condition, then I would say look for it. Definitely get it. Get, you can get him at a cheaper price. You know, but if you're looking for him like this, uh, a museum quality example version, then, you know, I'd say 50 or 60 dollars is about it. That's fair. Let's go up top. I think we had some. It's got a little dust on it, guys. I apologize for the dust. Here, I'll bring this down a little bit so you can see the equipment list here. It's 38 caliber pistol, holster, K bar knife, Navy dog tabs. That's a coconut husk that he carved that iconic, famous uh, re rescue message on. Collectors love the close-ups. I'm going to try to get you some nice close-ups here. It'd been cool if he had those a real zipper zipper pulley, but it's a just a string here. The figure was made beautifully. Uh, this is another one of my favorite G.I. Joe's. He stays in our, our main collection room, collection room here at the museum. He was, uh, JFK was one of the, uh, the more popular presidents, uh, in our history. So it was only fitting that he had his own G.I. Joe.
and he was military. So, which made it, you know, even more uh, of a right for him to have his own G.I. Joe. He was, you know, JFK was military. He served his country. Trying to get you every angle here. He has the um, classic collection uh, hand sculpts. Uh, they were still making that at the time. Uh, a little bit before the new gung-ho grip hands came out. But I thought this was this was fine to have those hands on, on him. The classic collection hands on him. I didn't see this figure on Cotswold Collectibles uh, the last time I was on their website, their toy website. But um, I would always say if you definitely are looking for this guy, Cotswold Collectibles uh, would be the place um, that I would start looking first. Um, because they got great deals. Um, they're not going to sell anything lower than C C7 or C8. Um, they just won't do it. Uh, they themselves are collectors. And uh, they do a beautiful job over there. So I've, I've made many purchases uh, from Coswell Collectibles, and I've been satisfied 100%. They'll tell you precisely if there's any uh, defects in the figure, the box, or anything. So just a, a beautiful team over there at Coswell Collectibles. This is truly a beautiful, beautiful figure. Like I said, it's uh, it's it means a lot to me. It's a cool figure, um, uh, even a, more so on a historical level. And it's really cool to have this uh, JFK figure in our our museum collection. And he's here for your viewing pleasure. Anytime you want to visit our our museum channel mib master museum channel he'll be here on display for your viewing pleasure guys we'd like to thank you for hanging out with us today at our museum i'm relaxing i'll probably have a cup of coffee after this you know the routine guys god bless and keep collecting.